Hi, Twin Flames. Okay, we're going to do a Twin Flame Oracle reading, okay? Um, I really love the Oracle readings the best for me to do for you guys, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, it says High Priest, okay? And then I split the deck. It's actually one deck. And it says Framed Watch, uh, Framed Watch Report Lawyer. Wow, okay. And we got that, okay? Alrighty, so those two cards are framing the picture that we're going to talk about, okay? Okay, and um, la 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 la, Doo -doo 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 -doo. this is my Black Widow 101 homemade deck, of course, as you can see, and this deck is the PDA deck, <laughs> and it's, um, it means Psychic Direct Answers deck. Oh, okay, we've got something that's not a coincidence. Let's read it, number 136. You can add those numbers to 10. Okay, so that's a complete cycle. And it's gonna start um, at a beginning. Okay, so it says overly self-centered off. Oh, okay. So someone or something is overly self-centered and off. Okay, remember we're talking about your twin flame journey, okay? And we're talking about the divine masculine and divine feminine. You may be the divine feminine or the other person, may, uh, that is your own soulmate, your own twin flame, literal other half of your soul can be the divine masculine. So you guys decide how, you know, you resonate with that. Okay. So, alrighty. All right. Let's, let's see what God says. So, Ooh, everything I do, it is God talking through me, the Godhead, the divine, all one. Yes, the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit talking through me, through my readings, okay? All right, so what do we got here? We've got two cards, okay, that came out, okay? One says 92, that's an 11, that's a twin flame number, 11, 11. Two people, one, one, right? Doesn't understand psychology, okay. Cool. And the other one is masking, number 89 or 17, um, or it can reduce to eight. Okay, that's a holy number. Okay, so someone uh, doesn't understand psychology, someone framed watch report lawyer, someone high priest, or another card says high priest, and overly self-centered and masking. Okay, so if we look at that and we ask God, God, Tell us what you mean. Tell us what you want Leah Black Dragon to say in this reading, what that is about. Um, well, first of all, we all are high priests, okay? You can say priest S, E, S, S. But um, <clears throat> really, um, it's just everybody's a god, which means creator of your own reality, if you want to add those words. But it means creator. And um, we all have to be high priests. Sorry. We all have to be high priests for ourselves. We all have to be creators for ourselves every day and every night. Um, some of us <clears throat> were spouses, were parents, were step parents, were grandparents or step grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, work, you know, coworkers, bosses, neighbors, enemies to some people because maybe they hate our good, they hate our integrity, they hate our pure love and pure mind. So you know. But anyways, um, so someone, so a high priest doesn't understand psychology. That's unfortunate because in order to ascend, you must study and research psychology because <clears throat> as you know, that's the study of the mind. Yes. So you have to study your own mind. You have to know your own mind. But most of all, you have to know God's mind and uh, you know, so if you don't know God's, the Godhead's, the divine all one's mind, oh boy, you're in big trouble because you're going to make a lot of extra mistakes and they're going to be really bad. So someone is masking. Okay. So masking, um, and they're overly self-centered about the masking and because of the masking, they're off. Okay. So they're off balance. Okay. So let's see what else. Okay. Right? So, okay, let's see, let's see. So then we're getting 
someone needs to stay determined or someone is staying determined in Viking way. Okay, seer, oracle, psychic. Okay, there you go. So, okay. So as high priests, whether a male or female, we're high priest, okay? We need to stay determined and on the path for God, not for our own twin flame. Um, we, also, we also need to become or see seers and oracles and psychics about whatever is happening around us because a lot of times you can be with people as friends or spouses or in a relationship and they're gonna lie right to your face. They're gonna have great poker faces, okay? So the Viking way. Okay, something about the Viking way. Something about you've been a past life Viking many times, whether you're male or female, whatever part you played in these Viking past lives. And that you need to stay determined for God to overcome any obstacles in this life, okay? Let's see what else, okay. Shuffle, 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 buffle. Let's pull out some cards, all right? Hey, I'm trying to stack. <laughs> It's a big stack. I'm proud of my big stack. There's other Oracle readers and tar readers that have big stacks like me. <laughs> All right, so we got sandals, room, underwear. Uh-oh, sandals, room, underwear. That doesn't sound good unless you're with your own twin flame or the person and it's your own sandals, it's your own room, and it's your own underwear, okay? So that's like a tip off from God, okay? Black and white detect, ooh. So that could be police, that could be detectives, that could be, uh, you know, justice system. And it's not a coincidence that my ring will not have the gems upright. Yes, yes. Anyways, so black and white, yeah, that also means balance. That also means you're off balance and you need to get balanced in your life, in your choices and decisions every day or else you will end up in a black and white situation that'll take you to where possibly be wearing something. <laughs> that wouldn't be good, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so stack, 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 shuffle, stack, stack, shuffle. What else, what else do you wanna tell us, God? Through your wonderful oracle cards. Okay, we got three, okay, cool. So, um, the first one is number 221, you deserve my best. So your person is saying, and God is saying, you deserve my best. And your higher self is saying to you right now in this current life and body you're in, you deserve the best. So yeah, we deserve the best. Um, oh, there's actually four cards. Oh, there's one right here, I didn't know that. So yeah, you deserve the best. This is the one I didn't know that was stuck. So in every twin flame life, you deserve the best, but you're not gonna always get the best, okay? Because everybody has free will. Here's the one stuck in back of it I didn't know. It was like a secret card, 220, 220, wishing you, wishing no harm. So yeah, you should wish no harm because it'll come back on you if you do. Um, God doesn't want you to harm your twin flame brothers and sisters and your own twin flame, especially. So 222, two, two, okay, so that's like a couple. That's like the mother god, you and your twin flame, and maybe someone else's twin flame. I don't know. But 222 two, two is about working together as a couple, an upright couple, hopefully. Um, if you add all those, those are six. All numbers um, can be used for good or bad. So, you know, take it how it resonates. Ten of cups. Oh, and it's got like four hearts for exclamation point. Okay, so um, you deserve the best. This one was in back of this one, so it goes with this one. You deserve my best, yet, uh, a 10 of cups ending. And a 10 of cups ending is the best that you can give your own twin flame or if you're not incarnated in love with your own twin flame because your own twin flame's a dark entity or becoming a dark entity like mine, um, then it would be the best from your um, spouse that is good and pure and integral, like you. Okay, 1888. Okay, so 16, 17, 18. That, that would turn into eight, I mean. Yeah, those numbers. 188, need help. So, yeah. So we need help if we're not choosing free will choices the right way. We need our higher self's help. We need God's help first. Um, and, it's just how it is for everybody. We we just need help from good people. 
And if we have bad people in our lives, just get rid of them because they will influence you to make a lot of mistakes, yeah, to your detriment. Okay, so we got these two cards. This came out. Low EQ, so emotional quotient. Okay, someone has low EQ, um, emotional quotient. So um, when you have low EQ, um, you're not in touch with your emotions. You don't understand your emotions or your loved one's emotions or your person's emotions. So that'll really affect you. Um, and then we've got runes. Okay, so someone loves runes. Someone should consult the runes. Go ahead and do a rune reading for yourself and just ask God to speak through the runes and they will and you'll get that special message. But also I see stay determined Viking way so the runes come from that era, especially. So as Vikings, we, and I heavily resonate with my Viking past lives, heavily. So in this life and my past lives, in the Viking lives I had, um, I use runes a lot. We relied on runes to tell us everything, anything and everything in our day or night, good or bad, right? Wise or unwise, warnings, whatever. So, okay. So what else? Um, what else about our Viking past lives? Okay, and two cards came out. Uh, 193, depressed, manic, needs therapy, love. Okay, so about the Viking past lives, you know, take what resonates. Where did I put the Viking past lives thing? Um, am I blind? Oh, there it is. Okay. So stay determined, Viking way. And then we got runes for that one. And then we got uh, depressed, manic, needs therapy, love. We also have for the Viking way past lives, the 229 right track. So stay on the right track. Okay. And that reduces to what? Four, 13. So 13 is death. So you want to have death to bad things in your life. Okay. Definitely bad things in your life. So from your Viking past lives, okay, your Viking way past lives, when you use your runes and they helped you, they warned you or helped you make good, better decisions from God, because runes are from God. Um, any divination tool is really God directly speaking to you. Um, and it's your ancestors of light that will tell you to do good speaking through your runes or any divination tools like oracle cards or tarot cards or palm reading palm reading or crystal ball readings. Um, what else? There's, I mean, pendulum, you know, the pendulums that swing. Um, and you have to be careful when you use Ouija boards because you have to know how to open them and properly close them so that the dark entity brothers and sisters that are bad ghosts or skinwalkers or shapeshifters cannot keep that portal open because the Ouija board will open portals and doors and you have to be able to close them though, okay? And then it says right track. So from your Viking way, your past lives, stay on the right track, okay? And someone does need therapy and love. Someone does need therapy and love. 10, 13, that's death and that's four. So, um, so yeah, you need to put death to bad things, bad free will choices in your life before it gets out of control. And of course, consequences are fun. Um, and then if you add 13, it goes to four. So four is family, four is family. Cause you wanna be a good family person to your own family. You never wanna be opposite of that. God doesn't like that. And then, you know, there's consequences and that's not fun. Okay. So, okay, what about, what about the masking? What about the masking issues that someone is doing? Okay, we got two, okay. So we got two cards, I think. It feels like this too, okay. Okay, about masking. Okay, we're asking about that. Um, the more you lie, the more you pay. Ooh, that's true. Thank you, God, for saying that. Um, thank you, Godhead. And then 214, um, right here it says, fears evil past. Ooh, God. Okay, that's, that's woo, pretty serious. Okay, God, we hear you. The, oh. And see, there's a card magically behind it. I just felt it move. There's a lot of supernatural things that happens to me, just so you know, okay? All right, so, um, wow, the more you lie, the more you pay, and that's about masking. This is about masking guilty as charged. Okay, that's not fun. And then 214 fears evil past. Okay, so when you mask, um, when because we're asking about masking, we're asking God to tell us about what do you mean by masking, whoever is masking. Um, 
Hold on, let me put them in order. Okay, then this one came. Okay, so about masking, which we all don't want to mask, okay? We just want to be real and integral and do what's right, say what's right. Behind the scenes in, in secret, okay? That's called integrity. So when you do things right for God and nobody sees, that's called integrity. Uh, you have to have uh, integrity to ascend. But this says about masking, the more you lie, the more you pay. Oh, that's awful. And then this one about masking came out. Uh, guilty as charged. And then uh, this one about masking, fears evil past. Yeah. So we don't want to mask because we don't want to deal with this. This stuff is too heavy. I mean, ugh, who wants to deal with that? Ooh, that's not fun. So, um, yeah, don't mask. Okay. So now I'm going to say who is wishing no harm. Okay. Let's, let's see who is wishing no harm. Okay. All right. Let me move this. Okay. Wishing no harm. Okay, cool. Let's see. Wishing no harm. God, what do you mean by this? Okay. Um, wishing no harm. 145. Buy a gift. Love. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. So maybe you're going to let someone know, I'm wishing you no harm. And then you buy a gift out of love. That's great. A nice love gift. Okay. But let it be a true gift, love gift. Okay. Because if not, then you got to pay more consequences. Okay. Yeah. So don't mask buying a gift. Okay. Don't deceive buying a gift. Or then, you know, then God punishes us. <laughs> So what's the point of buying a gift, right? Don't buy a fake a fake gift because you'll pay karma on that. Okay, um, let me, tell me what you mean about overly self-centered. Someone is overly self-centered, okay? Let me put this down, okay? Someone is overly self-centered, okay? And we got two cards, appears to be two cards because supernatural things will happen. Okay, um, I will accept reverses. Oh, and they're both reverses. Okay. Okay. So um, God is talking to us about, um, and I'm asking, God, what do you mean by overly self-centered? Off. And then reverse of this, it says, calling names, dark thoughts. Ooh. Reverse of that. Uh, okay. So if you're, if you're, so reverse of calling names would be not calling names or not dark thoughts so if you're overly self-centered off um and you don't want to be overly self-centered off then you would not call your person names or have dark thoughts okay that makes sense thank you god thank you god for that truth absolutely i agree all right um what about sandals room underwear Ooh. what do you mean by that god tell us what you mean by that okay get this down shuffle okay shuffle all righty seems like three cards are coming out oh four see i thought it was three but it's actually four whoa this one really wants to come out it like flew out like something like energy wise like moved it pushed it <laughs> Hated action wise. Oh, see, okay, so what do you be my sandals, room, underwear? Um, it says 252, sex, toy, person. Wow. Ooh, okay. So de if we if we were to put our detective mind on, um, that sounds like there's like something going on that God doesn't approve of. Yeah. And then God is telling us about the sandals room underwear stop here okay stop here so god wants you to stop here stop what you're doing okay In the 19 you can add 10 so that's ending and beginning okay so obviously another beginning cycle has to begin okay so what do you mean by sandals room underwear 280 ace to emperor and back down again cycles Ooh. so the emperor is god is saying Ace is zero, fool. So fool, you're you're going from being a fool, beginner, to emperor and back down again cycles. So that means you keep on going emperor, fool, emperor, fool, emperor, fool, emperor, fool. Okay. And the last one about sandals, room, underwear, 174. So that could be 11, 12. 
that could be three, that could be the Trinity or, you know, opposite reverse Trinity, right? Dark, dark reference, like Trinity, like demonic. Light thoughts. Okay, light thoughts. So God is saying about the sandals, room, underwear, all that light, light thoughts. Hmm. Well, you can't have light thoughts if you're doing wrong with someone, especially if you're married. Yep, especially if you're married or the person you're with is married. Okay. What about, what about you deserve my best, 10 of cups, right? So the best we can give someone is a 10 of cups ending, beginning, middle. That means pure choices as a spouse, a parent, child, uh, student, teacher, anybody, anything, right? So the 10 of cups ending is the best you can give someone um, if you love them, okay? And if you respect them, okay? Tell us about that. Tell us about what you mean, okay? Okay, so I don't know how many cards. Let's count them together, sorry. One, two, I won't do reverse. Three and four. Okay, so it looks like four. This one, I'm gonna turn it around. This one's reversed. I'm not gonna do reverse because it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to do. Okay. So let's see what God says about 221. You deserve my best. So someone is saying you deserve my best, and someone is saying two, two, two. Uh, togetherness, togetherness, togetherness. Couples. God, uh, the mother, father. Um. And then Ten of Cups ending. Okay, so, wow, that is something. So it says, when um, God is saying, when you deserve, you deserve my best, Ten of Cups ending, uh, smile, laugh, spend time. So yeah, so when someone gives you a Ten of Cups ending because they are pure, they are integral, and they're really in love with God and themselves and you, right? They're gonna smile, they're gonna laugh, they're gonna love spending time with you. And no one else yeah okay and then can't buy justice ever oh, okay so you deserve my best ten of cups smile laugh spend time and someone is learning that you can't buy justice ever true you can be wealthy or have a lot of power or um, try to manipulate people to do justice for you but in the end, you can't buy justice ever. You can't buy it. Like you can buy them drinks and food and promise them money and give them gifts to get fake justice for you, but that's that's not gonna work. God's gonna make sure it doesn't work. Okay, so head. Hmm, okay. You deserve my best. Ten of cups ending. Ten of cups. Smile, laugh, spend time. Can't buy justice ever. And head. So yeah, your head has to be clear for God has to be filled with godly things so you can give ten of cups in a ten of cups ending beginnings relationships to yourself and the person you're married to or you're with or your own children your own family or, and the world okay so corrupt husband corrupt mind and heart okay so you deserve my very best ten of cups smile laugh spend time can't buy justice ever head got to have a good head on your shoulders and corrupt husband, corrupt mind, and heart. Um, yeah, if if you have a corrupt head, you can't be um, anything but a corrupt husband, corrupt mind, and heart, or wife, right? Or friend, or daughter, or son, or parent, right? Grandparent, step parent. Yeah. So if your head has corruption in it, it's filled with bad stuff. Um, you'll have a corrupt husband, corrupt mind, and heart. That is true. Okay, so thank you for that, God. Um, God, tell us about this card. Doesn't understand psychology. Someone doesn't understand psychology and the importance of psychology. So please expand on that, um, please, Divine All One, God. All right, let me put these out of the way so we have more. Okay, so number 9211, doesn't understand psychology. 1111, twin flame. 1111 on your clock is about the twin flame journey. And, oh, so hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's pull out some cards, God, for you. And so you can speak your mind. I won't take reverses, okay? Just in case these are reversed. Okay. 
So the number one card right here, apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Oh, yeah. If you have a parent or someone that said psychology isn't real, it's a lie, then they don't understand psychology or your spouse says that or a friend or a fake friend or someone at work or someone in the world, some twin flame in the world says, uh, no, psychology is a lie. That means, just means they don't understand it. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. So their parents maybe didn't understand it. Someone in their life probably influenced them to not understand psychology because maybe they're hiding something. Probably the reason. Four seasons, spring, winter, summer, fall. Okay, four seasons, maybe hotel, you know? Um, or, yeah, or just the seasons. Like, um, I mean, if you don't understand psychology year round, ooh, that means a lot of uh, things that are that are gonna confuse you and not make sense to you. You're gonna make free will choices, and they're gonna be wrong. Yeah. Okay. So peace, tranquility, tranquility, quiet. So when you do want to understand psychology, or you do just study and research it, it's really easy to understand once you apply your heart and mind to it, and ask God to help you understand. Um, it gives you peace and tranquility and quiet. It did for me, and it it will for you too. Okay, so doesn't understand psychology. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Maybe your parent or someone told you psychology is a lie and bad. Uh, four seasons, spring, winter, su spring, winter, summer, fall, or spring, summer, winter, fall. <laughs> That's out of order, right? Maybe someone's out of order. Or four seasons hotel. If you don't understand psychology, you're going to make a lot of wrong decisions that are going to get you in a lot of wrong situations and places you don't want to be. Counting in a hotel, right? Okay. Peace, tranquility, quiet. Yeah. So when you understand um, God and, and God's psychology, God's mind that he made in you and everybody's mind that's in books, then you're going to have peace, tranquility, quiet. Okay. So what do you think about the card that says framed watch report lawyer? Okay. Um, let's see what God, the divine all one, thinks about this thinks about that card and wants to explain more. Okay, let me put this over here, make more room. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we got like, okay. So framed, watch, report, lawyer. Okay, so God, tell us what you mean by that. Okay, oh my goodness. Tell us what you mean by that, okay? All right. Okay. Okay, we got, I don't know how many cards these are. Okay, three, maybe, or four. Oh, wow, four, see? You can't tell, they get like stuck together. Okay, so, um, and I'm not gonna do reverses, and I can see these are a whole bunch of reverses. I'm not gonna do reverses, okay? Yeah, they're all reverse, so I'm gonna put them up right. Okay, so we're asking God what God means about framed watch, framed watch report lawyer, okay? So happy, okay? You're definitely not happy though, if you're framed, watch, report, lawyer. That's not happy. So I guess, I guess the reverse is I should keep. Okay, so we'll keep the reverse. So when you're framed, watch, report, lawyer, um, you're definitely not happy, number six, six. Ew, might as well put a six, right? <laughs> So 12, so three. So upside down three would be a false, fake, demonic trini trinity, God. You know, demonic gods, demonic brothers and sisters are gods, you know, because we're all gods. Like Jesus said in the Bible, don't you know ye are all gods? And he just meant creators, that's all. And I don't know if he actually said God or creator, but whoever translated the Bible said gods. So ask the person who translated that and used that word. There's nothing wrong with the word God, okay? All right, so we got reverse joy. Yeah, so if you're framed, watch, report, lawyer. Like watch your watch on your wrist, right? The time, the time you're framed, the time uh, report, the time, yeah, lawyer. Okay, so definitely um, you don't have joy. Okay, it's a reverse number 11. So it's a reverse uh, couple person that did that. So it, they gave you reverse joy. They gave you no joy. They took away your joy. They took away your happiness. Okay. And you're going to have to forgive these people that did this to you. Okay. Hate. So we got reverse hate. Okay. 
So framed watch report lawyer, happy joy and reverse hate. So reverse hate, 10. Hmm, reverse hate, that would be love. So maybe they have a love hate for you, okay? And that's why the framed watch report lawyer card came out. They have probably love hate for you, number 10. And they keep on having these cycles of love hate for you in every lifetime. Yep, free will choice, they can stop that. So, <laughs> all right. Also reverse, don't trust that or them. Okay, number 15. So reverse, don't trust that or them. So obviously if you if you reverse that, you're saying you do trust that or them. So you're trusting the wrong person. The someone is not trustworthy, okay? Or else you wouldn't get framed watch report lawyer. Okay? So it's it's a love-hate relationship they have for you which they shouldn't have if they were uh, psychologically woo, healed, okay? Sorry. If they were psychologically healed, they wouldn't have a love-hate for you in cycles every day for you. They wouldn't hurt you. And you got reverse joy, re reverse happiness for the framed watch report layer. Okay, wow. That's awful. Who's ever going through that? I am so sorry you're going through that because you deserve their best. You deserve their 10 of cups. Absolutely. Okay. But it is what it is. Let's move forward. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean by need help? Who needs help? God, what do you mean by need help? Okay. Well, let's see what the divine all one means by that. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. Yes, I should accept reverses if they do it. If the reverse comes out. Okay, so need help. What do you mean by that, God? Um, well, astral realms, places. Okay. So in astral realms and places, someone needs help. Okay, good or bad. Okay, what do you mean by astral realms, places? Pink, heart, crystal. Yeah. So pink is the color of love. Um, heart is supposed to be love. Okay, and crystal, a pink heart crystal, if you have an actual pink stone that's a crystal, um, you may want to keep that around you to protect you. Just hold it. And love, moon. Oh, so emotionally, love. So, um, so God's saying about the need help is, let's see, need help. Well, sometimes we need help in the astral realms and places because when we go to sleep at night, we're actually leaving our body and going into the astral realms to talk to our twin flame or other people on the other side or sometimes uh, demonic twin flames that come and visit us and um, try to beat us up and kill us or you know take, take us to their torture chambers. And you gotta ask Archangel Michael and all the archangels to get you out of those real torture chambers. Okay, and then the pink heart crystal, they're so beautiful to look at. Yeah, just be be like a pink heart crystal, okay? Protective of yourself, your heart, and don't go with people who don't love you and prove love to you. And once you find out that they don't love you, then just leave them. Just, you know, in any divorce, separation, whatever. Love moon, so the pink heart crystal, and then love, and then moon, Oh, So emotionally love yourself, okay? And the moon represents the feminine energy, um, the emotions, you know, the tides that go in and out. Um, so you're gonna feel, you know, tides of emotions go in and out, that's normal. But if you need help psychologically, or maybe a psychiatrist can help you, help you or a doctor, go, go and let them do that. Go to your doctor and say, hey, my emotions are being pulled and pushed back in because I need help because I'm in a toxic situation and then share that, okay? Um, let's see, yeah, so yeah, when we're overly self-centered, um, then, you know, how, uh, let's see, overly self-centered, calling the names or thoughts, okay, and then Sandals Room, okay, cool, yes. Oh, that wouldn't look like that. Okay. So, yeah.
so yeah you know when you've got wrong toxic things and people in your life you just have to let them go yep and that means sometimes you divorce them you leave them you know however you need to let them go okay for god god will give you that strength it'll be rough but you'll be fine <laughs> okay god tell us about low quotient uh low emotional quotient what do you mean by that what do you mean by that please tell us mother father source the great spirit and ancestors of light also tell us what you mean by that okay all righty okay all righty okay got it okay so oh, there's four cards okay so god's gonna say what they mean by that about the low emotional quotient okay so the first card, if you're going to do one in front of the other, is 276. Low emotional quotient. God is saying hides. Hiding, spirited, trained, neglected. Oh, So someone with low emotional uh, quotient is, or what is hiding? 9, 6, 15, 6. Okay. Um, 276. It hides in hiding, spirited trained neglected oh that's so sad that's so sad so um in psychology you'll understand if you read the seven sacred flames book page 58 you'll understand even more but by our free will choices in future lives or the current life or in our past lives we can give ourselves low emotional quotient because we kept on choosing the wrong choices emotionally to ourselves. So it gives, so every time you detrimentally choose uh, wrong uh, choices and it forces your low, e uh, your emotional quotient to go down. That's the consequences of choosing wrong choices, free will style every moment. Okay. In the past lives, future lives. Oh, oh, it's because of um, some white out. <laughs> okay. The next card says 306, which is nine. So that's the, that's the um, divine feminine number deep divine feminine number prosperity family matters inheritances they owe you oh, okay cool so someone with low equ emotional quotient hides hiding spirited um trained neglected they were neglected by other twin flame brothers and sisters in their past lives current life or going to be in future lives unfortunately so so their their prosperity of psychology is affected definitely and all the psychology family matters um, psychology will affect everything right so it's going to affect um the family matters and that go on every day and inheritances those will be affected and <clears throat> they owe you so it seems like um someone with low emotional quotient owes you inheritances energies of inheritances and maybe money says they owe you so god's saying they owe you okay thank you god the next one is zero. Yes. Okay. Low emotional quotient. God's saying yes. They have yes. They have low emotional quotient. And those of you know who you are or what God's talking about. And then 112, um, which goes to four, like family. You're wrong. So low people with low emotional quotients, they think everybody else is wrong. And they think their low their emotions are wrong. Yeah. Okay. If you study psychology about people with low emotional quotients and how they got it on page 58 in Seven Sacred Flames book, you can order off mslpublishing.com. Order it now. It's worth it. It'll save your psychology mind and heart and family and, and marriage. If you're not married to a um, dark spirit twin flame or a dark spirit um, spouse or whatever, or it can save your relationship, you know. Uh, some sacred flames book can save you save your relationship that you have with yourself only guaranteed that's that's the guarantee that i can say that god is saying to you right now that only you can save your own relationship with yourself and with god by doing god's will so read the whole book and live the whole book okay all right so okay um god what do you mean by black and white detect it's got eyes and they're just looking okay um let me move this here okay
Okay. So black and white detect. God, what do you mean by that? Okay. All right. Synchronicity. Okay. Thank you. I don't know how many cards, so. One, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, are, we, are these all reverse? Okay. I guess we're doing reverse. Okay. So what do you mean by black and white detect? Uh, reverse bad loyal. Okay. Black and white. Well, black and white, if you mix that together, it makes gray, which means balance of positive and negative. So balance of positive and negative detect or see that, right? Balance of positive and ne negative detect or see that. Okay. So God sees that, you know, maybe you see that. So reverse bad loyal. So reverse bad loyal. Well, reverse bad loyal would be good unloyal. Whoa, good unloyal? So I guess someone is coming off like they're good, but they are unloyal and God wants you to know that. Okay. What else? Um, and then reverse good loyal. Ooh. So reverse good loyal would be bad unloyal. Oh wow, it's saying the So it seems like they're bipolar kind of flippant. They're going, oh, I wanna be good loyal, and I wanna be bad loyal, and I wanna be good loyal, and I wanna be bad loyal. So study psychology about that, okay? Um, so reverse of 166 in balance, that would be not in balance. And the smile face would go down and frown, okay? Down and frown. So, um, yeah, um, yeah, if you're not a balanced thinking, looking person, you're gonna go like bipolar, back and forth, back and forth. Good loyal, bad loyal to you or your children or your children together, okay? And how that looks in choices is you're gonna be a good husband, good father, good stepfather, and then you're not gonna be a good stepfather, good husband or, you know, father or grandfather. So you're going to be flippant. That doesn't sound like a person you want to be with. Okay, so you're not going to be in balance, okay? Because this is reverse. And another reverse is 164, and it says, in a bad way, negative. Ooh, so see, again, it's proving it. In a bad way or not in a good way, positive. So the person is not in a good way, positive, if you reverse that, okay? not in a good way positive for you, for your children, um, whether they're your children and his stepchildren or anybody's children, his own children, if they have any, or family, these unbalanced um, people in your lives are not gonna be good for you or any of your children and grandchildren of the past, present, and future. But we're talking about the current life, okay? So God's talking about the current life. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, what about high priest? God, you've taught us in the ascension path, the balancing of ego path, that we must be a proper high priest, okay? Not a bad, whacked out psycho high priest. Okay, so tell us more about what you mean. Okay. All right. I don't know how many cards. And of course, I have to accept reverses. <laughs> okay, these are upright. So, um... We're gonna take gun, trigger, front sight abuses. Woo. High priest. So a high priest, gun, trigger, front sight abuses and told your TFDMSM to get rid of you. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty serious. Okay, this sounds like dark twin flames that are unbalanced, <clears throat> that don't respect or understand psychology. Um, God is talking about them gun, trigger, front sight, abuses. Wow. And then God's talking about, don't be a high priest that you tell your own twin flame, divine masculine soulmate. Wait, told your, oh, I see. Like a karmic told your own twin flame, divine masculine soulmate to get rid of you. Whoa, that is scary. Guns and getting rid of that's not a proper high priest. That's not proper psychology. That's not proper godliness. Woo, God, that's serious. Okay, so moving forward. God, what do you mean by seer, oracle, psychic? 
because you know a lot of people they don't understand because they need to research and study in light and love right in and in, in psychology that the mind um uh, the mind can be used um supernaturally by god and you can be known as a seer oracle or psychic psychic medium or um, use divination tools like runes pendulums or um well, all of us can be a seer, oracle, psychic in reality. God wants us to know that. We just have to um, get back our um, psychic abilities that we gave up because of our wrong thinking choices every day in our past lives and current life. So if you want your psychic abilities back that God wants to give you, is waiting to give you, you have to earn it back by making the right free will choices, by studying psychology and studying what a psychic medium, seer, oracle does, or a spay man, spay woman does. Um, and there's good psychics and bad psychics. There's good seers and oracles, and there's, you know, there's good and bad and everything, right? Okay, so God, let's see, what do you mean by seer, oracle, psychic? Okay, and this will be the last card. Um, okay, so let's see. Ready? Oh, okay. Looks like there's five cards or six cards. Three, four, five. Let me double check because things magically happen to me all the time. I get supernatural stuff happening to all the time to me, which I don't mind if it's not dark, right? For dark reasons. Okay. So it looks like we have five cards. Number one, or the first card is 103, which adds to four, which is family or could be bad family, good family change good okay so seer oracle psychic card god is saying change good so you can get change based on in your life and psychologically in your mind based on what the seers oracles and psychics tell you um true that is true 102 leaders three okay trinity leaders good okay so god is saying about the seer oracle psychic card to explain about it is that um, the Seer Oracle Psychics are leaders and examples of leaders that are supposed to be good, not bad. So if you're going to a not good Seer Oracle Psychic, discontinue. Okay, three more cards, it looks like. This one magically appears <laughs> to multiply, right? Or hide behind. 101. So, like Psychology 101. Um, false good. So Seer Oracle Psychic. So... Um, sometimes there are false acting um, psychics that act good. So that's a false good, like a false positive, not real, fake. Okay? All right. So blood pressure. See your oracle psychic. God, what do you mean? Okay, blood pressure. Well, based on what they tell you, your blood pressure can go up or down, which could be good or bad, right? Blood pressure goes up too high that could be bad. Blood pressure goes down too low, that could be bad. So you definitely want the middle healthy, okay? All right, neck, neck. I don't know, this resonates obviously with someone because God's not gonna say anything on accident. And I, you know, God's all about synchronicity, you know, he uses clocks, numbers, or whatever. He uses anything, any omens, any whatever, right? To speak to you. Uh, they have special, special messages just for you. Um, so about the Seer Oracle Psychic card, God is saying neck. Well, like my neck is hurting, <laughs> hurts every day. But anyways, neck, mm, okay. Maybe like the Seer's Oracles and Psychics do, so to speak, stick out their neck for you, if they're good, by telling you the truths that they tell you, that they share with you. So that's cool, I agree. Um, and so just give nothing but highest love and respect for your Sears oracles, your psychics, your spay women, spay women, spay men, palm readers, uh, crystal ball readers, because that is hard to, to, it is hard in this world right now at this time, you know, if, if they're wrongly spoken about, you know, um, which they shouldn't, but we are in a very dark 3D matrix Terra planet. So, you know, there's darkness here. There's dark people here. We all know that. We've all experienced it in this life and every life. So um, so thank you for coming to my uh, oracle reading. I hope this resonated. 
with you and take what resonates with you or doesn't resonate with you just give it away okay and let god just speak through this reading to you you know what applies to you and what doesn't apply to you and maybe think about things in your mind like maybe this applies to me later or will you know so much love namaste i enjoyed uh, doing this oracle reading for you out of highest light and love for you i love you twin flames i want the best for you um just Please pass on my videos. Know that these are timeless readings, even though, of course, today I'm doing it. And just know I'm here for you. And please uh, leave positive comments and feedback. And of course, I'll have to uh, get to 500 subscribers before I can block uh, dark trolls on my channel that come here. So help me get to 500 and be into the thousands eventually. Of course, I have to earn that from you for God, but help me get there, please, because I really need to be able to block, you know, people that are just not doing right here psychologically. <laughs> like I was looking for the psychological card. So, um, yeah, I don't know where to go. But anyways, so you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And know I love you with all my heart, especially my own family. Okay. And just forgive everyone when you're ready. Like I'm a past life shaman of tons of lives. And like my two Hawaiian shamans and one of their wives said, don't forgive anyone if you're not ready. You don't have to forgive anyone until you're ready to forgive. And God even approves of that and says that. And God wants you to know that the shamans are right. Don't forgive until you're ready. And that um, uh, God wants you to know that all the shamans and wise people that tell you uh, never forget the bad things that anybody has ever done to you. And never forget their face, never forget the details ever, so that you will never have to repeat those lessons with those same people or in any life. Okay, much love. Namaste. This is Leah Black Dragon out. Love you guys. Bye.